Hello, welcome to Tim Anderson Horse Training. Today's gonna, video is going to be a little bit different. Instead of talking about the horse training and different things that I do with the horses, I want to take a minute and share some stories with you about when I first started training and some of the struggles that I was uh, going through just, just as a horse person trying to learn how to ride. I did not learn to ride as a child like many people did. I learned to ride a little bit later in life, and I'll share that with you in another story. I was in my 20s when I was really learning how to ride, and I did not start off as a trainer. I was just trying to, to make the horse that I had better because it was all that I could afford. So I'm gonna share something with you that really helped me in my horse journey and helped me to become a better horse person. I'd always heard and been told always end on a good note and your horse will be better next time but i was so beginner at horse riding first off i didn't know what good was and second off nothing ever felt good i kept getting into struggles with the horse and it just seemed like the horse always won and i had somebody tell me something one time that really made me becoming a better horse person a lot easier a lot smoother and it seemed like a lot of those struggles just went away I, I still had up days and down days like everybody does but what he told me made everything come easier and i want to share that with you today do you have any rules that you go by when you're training horses there, there's a lot of them out there i've heard a lot of Different rules, different things people go by. What, what's the main thing you go by? The, I'm going to tell you my main rule that I go by. It's, it's actually three rules. And put your rules down in the bottom. Let me hear what they are. Uh, anytime we have rules that help guide us in our journey as a horse person, it helps keep us centered and it keeps structure to what we're doing. And structure is very important for both us and the horse, I believe. I think if you don't have structure and if you don't have a plan, your journey as a horse person becomes much harder. What he told me was there are three rules to horse training. Rule number one is you don't get hurt, meaning me as the rider. I don't get hurt, that's the first rule. Rule number two is the horse don't get hurt. Good so far. Rule number three is one of us has to learn something and that really struck a nerve with me i was so focused on trying to make my horse better that i not i did not realize that my horse was making me better and when i realized that and i started paying more attention to not just what i was trying to make the horse do but paying attention to how the horse was reacting to what I was doing, I realized even though I was trying to teach the horse something, I was learning way more. And when I realized that, it seemed like the struggles just went away. And I was paying attention to my horse and we became a better partner. My horsemanship got better. And in the process, my horse did start learning. That was such a big key for me, not only for my training to progress, but for my horsemanship to progress as a horse person. And once that, I reached that understanding, everything got easier. And I wanted to share that with you today because I was getting caught into trying to do the mechanics of the time there wasn't any YouTube I was watching uh, renting videos and buying videos and I was getting stuck because I couldn't get my horse to do what those people were doing in the books and the videos the important part was one of us learned something I heard a saying once before and I've shared it in another video the worst decision you can make is no decision at all you can always learn from a wrong decision. You can't learn from a, not making a decision at all. And those two, two things go hand in hand. Make a decision and one of you learn something. And keep yourself safe 
and pay attention to your horse. And as long as you make a decision, learn from your decisions, you don't get hurt, your horse don't get hurt, and in the end, one of you learns something, you will keep progressing as a horse person no matter how hard the struggles seem. So that's it for today. I uh, hope you find this information helpful. Please click the subscribe button and the thumbs up button. And until next time, thank you for watching. Yes, it is February and I am in a short sleeve shirt. I think our high today is 77 or 78 degrees. We never do have much of a winter here where we're at. Summer's usually tough, but uh, this is kind of our typical summer. I'm gonna show you uh, my barn aisle. I don't know if you can see all that darkness on the floor. Didn't spray water in here. That's our humidity. One thing I say about Mississippi weather is the weather you wear. And this is the winter time. Just wait till summer gets here. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Welcome to Tim Anderson Horse Training.